Romans, countrymen, and lovers. Hear me for my cause, and be silent that you may hear. Believe me in mine honor, and have respect to mine honor, that you may Amen. believe. Censor me in your wisdom, and awaken your senses, that you may the better judge, if there be any in this assembly, any dear friend of Caesar's. To him I say that Brutus' love to Caesar was no less than his. If then that friend demand why Brutus rose against Caesar, this is my answer. Not that I love Caesar less, but that I love Rome more. But that I love Rome more. But that I love Rome more. Had you rather Caesar were living and die all slaves than that Caesar were dead? To live all free men, to live all free men, to live all free men. As Caesar loved me, I weep for him. I weep for him. I weep for him. As he was fortunate, I rejoice in it. I rejoice in it. I rejoice in it. As he was valiant, I honor him. But as he was ambitious, I slew him. There are tears for his love, joy for his fortune, honor for his valor, and death for his ambition. Who is here so base that would be a bondsman? If any speak, for him I have offended. For him I have offended. Who is here so rude that would not be a Roman? If any speak, for him I have offended. Who is here so vile that would not love his country? If any speak, for him I have offended. I pause for a reply. Then none have I offended. None have I offended. None have I offended. I have done no more to Caesar than you shall do to Brutus. The question of his death is enrolled in the capital. His glory, his glory, his glory, not extenuated, wherein he was worthy, nor his offenses enforced, for which he suffered death. Here comes his body, mourned by Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony, who though he had no hand in his death, shall receive the benefit of his dying, a place in the commonwealth, as which of you shall not. I depart with this, that as I slew my best lover for the good of Rome, for the good of Rome, for the good of Rome, I have the same dagger for myself when it shall please my country to need my death. <laughs>